Hi there, and welcome to Earth Table Body, where we create easy, healthy, natural meals that you'll enjoy. Today, I'm going to discuss cream-based soups, their alterations and variations. Now, as you may well know, I'm a huge fan of simplicity, and cream-based soup is the poster child of easy. They require minimal ingredients, they're quick to prepare, and they're filling. Now, before we go any further, I would like to address the cream aspect and alternatives for our vegan friends. Now, if you're a meat or animal product consumer, please consider the health side effects of this type of diet. Now, animals and their byproducts have saturated fat, that is, when we consume them, which is hardly seen anywhere else in our diets with the exception of processed foods. Now, you may ask me, why are saturated fats so bad? Well, they can lead to heart disease, open the door to diabetes, and have been linked to cancer. The modern diet that we're seeing these days relies heavily on saturated fats, and I'm just encouraging you to consider alternatives so that we can age smoothly. Cut! What, what just happened? Did I get on one of my nutrition soapboxes? Yes. Did I? Well, I am so sorry. Let's take a little break, and when we come back, I'll show you how to prepare a great soup with or without cream. Now I'm going to show you how to prepare a creamy tomato basil soup, but there are a couple of topics that need to be addressed. First of all, I'm going to prepare this with silk and tofu for our vegan viewers. But if you'd prefer to use heavy whipping cream, this will be delicious. And honestly, I modified this recipe from one that used cream. Besides, let's be honest, animal products taste pretty good. I've seen tofu processed to resemble bacon, but I have yet to see bacon, or anything else for that matter, processed to resemble tofu. Maybe that's a new market. Quinoa flavored ground beef? Brown rice flavored turkey? I'm just saying. Secondly, I'd like to address my use of canned tomatoes for all you purists out there. Now, I use canned tomatoes in the winter time when I really want hot soup because the fresh ones are not local and they're generally pretty poor in quality. And the canned tomatoes that I buy are organic, have minimal sodium, and have no additives. Now that we got all the footnotes and disclaimers up, what's that? Our producers have told us that we do have one more disclaimer. Please do attempt this at home. It will make your house smell good and is a nutritious way to take care of yourself and others. Okay, now that we do have all of the disclaimers out of the way, let's cook. The main ingredients we'll be using today are tomatoes, garlic, and silken tofu or cream. To start, heat a small to medium pot over medium heat. That's about six on my stove. Next, add oil and minced garlic stirring until the garlic begins to brown. Then add the tomatoes. You want to bring that to a simmer and reduce heat to maintain the simmer but not a full boil and simmer for 10 minutes. Now while our tomatoes are simmering, put the silken tofu and water in a blender or food processor and blend on the highest setting until smooth. After the 10 minutes, add the tofu water mixture, the balsamic vinegar, and return that to a simmer for another three minutes allowing the tofu to cook. Next, remove from the heat and return to the blender and puree with the fresh basil. Now to finish, you're going to want to add salt and pepper to taste, serve, and enjoy. Pretty simple, right? The way I see it, there are two parts. One, the vegetable part, and two, the cream part. You can use this framework to prepare other creamy soups. Just prepare your vegetables and blend with cream or tofu. You might need to add a little bit of liquid to get the proper consistency. Now, by the way, I want you to check out our blog for recipe variations. Well, that concludes another episode. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to find out more about us, check out our website at earthtablebody.com. Once there, you can sign up for updates, get recipes, or generally see what we're up to. Now, I want to invite you to tune in next time as we talk about grains and we prepare a quinoa pilaf worthy of a Nobel Peace Prize. We are Earth Table Body. Thanks for watching and eat well.